The lack of AC sent a lot of families running to community centers for relief. But late yesterday, three people were shot at one of those cooling centers. And tonight we're learning more about the victims. 24 year old Ataya Nichols did not survive. 10 TV's Kiana Dietis has been in contact with her mother. A woman says that she truly doesn't know what she's going to do. Just a tragedy. Yeah, Yolanda Andrew, I spoke with Ataya Nichols' mother, Latanya. She's not ready to go on camera, but she tells me she's lost. She says she watched her daughter fall and take her last breath. This is a picture of Ataya. She was 24 years old, and her mom tells me she was a volunteer cheerleader coach and the mother of a two-year-old boy. Her life was cut short when she was shot at Glenwood Community Center yesterday, and witnesses say there was a fight before the shooting. In response to the violence, the city's Recreation and Parks Department says going forward, police will now be on site at both the city pools as well as the temporary cooling centers. They say the shooting does not impact summer programs. Our camps are safe. Our parks are safe. Our centers are safe. And so from one mother to another, these camps are ideal for our children to have something to do in the summertime. It is safe to bring them here. And sadly, Atea's mother has been through this before. She lost her 15-year-old son to gun violence in 2020.